Hello there, Talon here. Today I would like to show you how to use the newest Figma AI features and check if we may actually get most of it. So, first of all, some requirements. To access AI features, you need to get this new user interface, UI free, because then you have this kind of bottom bar, which replace the top bar. And by pressing Command K or this sparkles actions, you have access to all AI features introduced during the config. So these examples were actually created by AI and let's try to make something nice with Figma AI right now. Let's try with a simple prompt. Uh, let it be mobile app grocery store with green and orange uh, colors. Let's press make it and wait a bit. Let's see how fast Figma AI is. It's quite fast, to be honest. It's generating images right now. I'm not speeding up this video. We have already the structure of the star. And here it is. Super fast, I would say. Uh, so let's analyze it a bit. At first glance, it feels quite logical. We have this kind of history. We have our basket card and search categories, which is typical for the stars. We have categories of, uh, of the products, all images AI based which is great because they look like a photos, very nice quality. I'm a bit surprised by Mid because it was a grocery store. Uh, but anyway, other items looks quite good. Uh, we got the bottom bar, which is common pattern here. It includes uh, home, categories, deals, card profile, which is cool. I'm a bit confused by repetition of card here. Um, but yeah, as a first starting point, some kind of inspiration made within a few seconds. Looks pretty well. Obviously, we can customize it a bit more. Here we have more orange tint. Here we have uh, white. Here we have another options. And if none of this is, and if none of this is something that you like, you can make even more changes. As you can see here, we can change the main color even to very custom one. Cool. As a starting point for an inspiration purposes, feels quite nice. But that was really simple prompt, as you can see here, a few words. Let's check if Figma is able to do something nice and follow more complex requirements. To do that, I prepared a prompt that includes far more details. Let's go through it briefly. It will be a mobile app, main page of the mobile app, for a vegan store with high quality premium vegetables and fruits. It should promote vegan recipe with bold image and below it should include ingredients to make this recipe. There should be possibility to, to order them and eventually order an entire meal from the store. Uh, also, some details from our initial research would say target market, market uh, is Dubai, and majority of the users are women between 20 and 45 years old. Uh, bottom bar navigation has following options. It should include home, favorites, orders, and profile. What's more, our top bar should include search field to allow users browse through the products. Let's check if Figma is able to, to follow all of this. And let's check how fast actually it will be. Because I assume that it might take a bit more time. Okay, we got a structure. First, mobile page structure is 
created. I see a really nice imaginary hero already. Oh, it's quite fast. It's done. Very fast. Let's go through it. Uh, just with the just like in a previous example, we got a very similar uh, navigation bar. I'm not sure if this is needed, but anyway, we have got we got cart, we got history, okay, we got search as we intended to have, and what is important, we have this recipe and we can order it. This is great. It followed our instructions. Then we have ingredients for this recipe and, you know, it feels quite logical because we have avocado, we have bread, nice, tomato, oil, salt. This is really surprising because it feels like these are real ingredients. Amazing. Uh, and we can order them. Great. And the bottom bar. We got home, favorites with proper icon, order really good icon, and profile. Icon could be better. It should, should be some kind of avatar or a person. Really cool. Obviously, we could customize it, but I kind of like the first approach. Mm, yeah. If you want to visualize something here quickly after stakeholder interview or have some kind of point of inspiration, I feel that this design is a nice start. Obviously, it needs a lot of tweaks, like hiding this icon. Maybe history is not proper here because we have orders. But yeah, anyway, it got all the layers named nicely. We have auto layout, which is great. So as a starting point, it's good. Let's try to make it even more complex because it is very rare to design only one page of the app. Apps include many pages, many flows for the tasks that user want to accomplish. And I'm very curious if Figma actually can do that. So I have prepared another prompt that will instruct Figma to prepare profile page for a mobile app uh, of this home page that we just designed. It should include the same tab bar. Let's see if it will understand that. Uh, within this profile page, it should be able to include avatar, name, edit details, add delivery address, uh, and even purchase premium plan. Additionally, it should have entry point for other settings and terms and conditions and the logout option uh, from the app. Let's see if Figma will be able to understand that it needs to be consistent with this, or it will be completely separate page. Okay, that is fast, very fast, actually. And it looks more like an Instagram profile than profile of the user of Vision Store. But we have nice avatar, AI generated, name, description. I'm not sure if the followers or following are relevant to the type of the app. Also, the look and feel is different. We may try to make it more similar, but with the defaults, we are not able to do that. So we should press make changes. Here we got some more similarity, probably font should be changed somehow, let's say. Yeah, more or less, more or less. So for now, Figma is not able to make designs for the app, but designs for the specific pages. Uh, even now, it is quite usable as a starting point, as um, point of reference, inspiration, after you, you have done some research, stakeholder interview, you may inspire yourself or show some preview if this generated design is the right direction, if your stakeholders like it. But still, it needs your skills. It needs your knowledge to clean up designs. As you can see, this profile page is completely not relevant to our case. 
our prompt should introduce that we are not designing social app profile page, but the profile page for grocery store, for, for delivery app, whatever you are going to include. Every time you need to explain all the details to Figma. Can't wait to see your creations. Let me know what you think of Figma AI. Uh, it's far more actually than creating designs because you can make prototypes with your own designs, rename your layers, replace content, rewrite content, shorten it, translate it to other images and manipulate images by making them as a placeholders or removing background from generated ones. So yeah, it's very usable. And when it comes to design generation, it's a great point of inspiration uh, or a starting point for your apps. Not yet for the final publication for sure. However, yep, I'm excited about that. And for sure, I will include many more details about how to handle uh, Figma AI in my upcoming AI for design course. Uh, if you have any specific questions, also let me know in comments. I will try to include them in the course so we will be able to dive even deeper into the topics. And yeah, let me know if you like the video. Mm, let me know if you like Figma AI or what you expect from it. And see you soon.